Hello and welcome back to Handmade by Hannah. Now, when I was a little girl, I used to make lots of pom-poms. And I used to use two pieces of card and I'd put them together and then I'd have to wrap my wool all the way around and put it in and it was a nightmare. But nowadays, you have a pom-pom maker. So you can get, you can buy these um, at most, most outlooks. Um, I'll put a link down below where you can get them from. They come in all different sizes, you can make different size pom-poms. So I thought I'd just do a little demonstration today on how to use one of these. So they've got, they open and close and they've got a little latch on them like that to keep them shut. So basically you just open them up and then you have these bobbles on here. So you just put the opposite ones onto the other one like so. And then what that will do is that gives you a little groove to cut them in. And then all you do, it's a little bit of a tricky thing to start with. So you just basically, you wrap your wool around. And you just wrap and you just wrap and you keep on wrapping. until you feel that you've got a thickness that you like. So you can do this with lots of different types of wool. I'm just using some double knit here in turquoise. And you just wrap it round, there's no rhyme or reason, just make sure that it's even. And you just keep wrapping it round right up to the to the edge there. You just keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping. Ideally, so you can't see any more of the pom-pom maker underneath. That's what I think is quite a good. When I used to make pom-poms when I was little, I used to do it so the hole was totally full of wool. So I had a nice thick, nice thick pom-pom. So that's all you do. You just hold this together and keep wrapping it round and round and round. So I'll go off and do, that's all you do, I'll go off and do the other side and then I will meet you, meet you back and show you how to do the rest of it. It's quite easy but I thought as I'm like, I do a craft channel of all different types of craft and pom-poms are so versatile, you can, you can trim blankets with them, you can make little toys out of them, you can um, put them on top of a bobble hat loads of things you can make rugs really good for using up scrappy bits of yarn really really versatile stick little eyes on them and make little make little creatures obviously don't give them to any children under a certain age otherwise they'll choke on the little eyes but apart from that it's okay <laughs> okay so I think that'll do what I do is I cut that bit off and then I'm just going to tuck that into there okay so I'm going to go off I'll go off and wrap the other side and then I'll come back and show you what to do after that okay so here we are back again I've wrapped both of my um, sides of my little pom-pom maker and I've cut myself a bit of yarn so all you do is you close it up and clip it in with the little clips on that side and on that side like so and then you need a decent pair of scissors a nice sharp pair of scissors and you just cut in in the little groove that's one side two sides and then you get your piece of thing, your piece of wool, and you 
moss it up like so going round the centre bit here you give it a nice tight pull and go the opposite way again one two and then do that give it a nice tight pull the tighter you do it the more denser and more fluffier your pom-pom will be so as I like to do everything three times and just do that and then we undo it take one side out and the other side out and there you have it look at that nice nice round pom pom so if you're going to make a hat and what a pom pom you'd leave these bits on and then you'd sew them into the top of your hat but yeah nice quick easy way to make some pom poms so i hope that was helpful show you how to make a pom pom with a pom pom maker um happy pom poming and um pom poms might be the theme of our next of my next video i'm going to do a pom pom blanket i'm just going to show you i'll just show you a little trial a little because i don't have a lot of space to film so i'll just show you a the technique and then you can go away and make it as big as and fancy as you like okay then so that was just a quick little video to show you how to make a pom-pom and a pom-pom maker thank you for watching and all the normal stuff and i will see you in the next one okay thank you bye bye